In this tutorial, we'll learn how to insert table into blog through the portal of courseweb.langara.bc.ca. So I'll open my browser and this is my dashboard for my account in courseweb.langara.bc.ca. In order to insert a table into the blog, I need, I'll need to create a new post. So on the side menu here, under post, there should be an add new option and this is the kitchen sink where you have all the tools uh, for you to to compile your message to create a table there is a button here that says insert a new table now if you don't see this button it could be a plugin problem or it's just been hidden let's deal with the hidden one uh, as that is more easier to deal with um, in the first row, there is a show or hide kitchen sink. Okay, now if you click that, notice that the second row is gone, and that's probably uh, one of the reasons why you don't see it if you don't have a second row. Now, if you click it again, it'll show the second row. Now, if this first solution doesn't work for you and you still don't see this icon, then it is a plugin problem. So, we'll go to the plugin. On the side menu right here and make sure all is selected on the top under the plugin option uh, scroll down and you should see a plugin that says tiny MCE advanced and make sure it is uh, activated so if it is activated it'll say deactivate to go into calibrating this setting under settings, there should be uh, an option called Tiny NZ Advanced. Click on that. And it should bring you into its own option uh, on how to, which allows you to customize your kitchen sink. At the bottom here is just a uh, whole bunch of different things that you can add into your current menu. And you can have up to four rows with this plugin uh, installed. So if you look at here, there is the table menu, which I have dragged uh, previously from the bottom to the top. So you can put it in the, in the third row, second row, first row, whichever your preference is. So I'll just leave it at the second row for now. Once you are satisfied with your kitchen sink, make sure you scroll down and click Save Changes. Alright, once the options are saved, you can go back and create a new post again. And you should be able to see the table menu which you have installed previously. So we can go ahead and click the table tool. So this looks similar to what is uh, in D2L. Again, it'll ask you how many rows and uh, how many columns and rows you would like to create. So I'll create another three by three table here. Now there's one difference here, which is border, which is set at zero. Uh, zero as in uh, pixel. So you won't see any border around your table unless you set it into one. So I'm just going to put it into one. So the entire table will be bordered uh, with one with one pixel uh, width of line. So we'll click uh, insert. So here it looks like there are only three rows, but there isn't. Okay, so it's just a little bit hidden, but you can start typing things into the table. I'll just use number to show you that each cell does exist if you type into it. Okay, so there are nine cells in total. Now, if you click on the preview button, it should give you a preview of what it should look like. All right, so right here you can see 
what it would look like to the other readers. It looked like so it looks like the border didn't pick up so because I forgot to set the border color into black. How to change that is through the table properties here. Table cell property. Click on that. And then under the advanced tab, see that the border color is white. And we're gonna change it to black. And then click apply. Um, again, this this drop down menu similar to D2L, and you can go select update all cells in table, and update. So you won't see the change immediately in the editor mode, um, but if you go to the preview again and you'll see that all the cells has been outlined with the border all right now let's go back to our table here um, and if we we're gonna merge the first row uh, with the three columns into one column so let's say i want to merge cell one two and three together i will just drag across and you see that all three numbers are um, are highlighted in table menu if you go down to this button here that says merge table cells click on that and again it will merge all the data together so i recommend you to merge tables table cell before you insert your data so here you can see um, the first row has been merged together into one column. This is how you insert a table into the block. And now we're going to see how we do it, how do we insert table from Microsoft Word. So I'll delete this table. Open Word. And here is another sample table I have created. And I want to paste, copy and paste this into the block. So I'll right click, copy. Uh, in the body of the blog message, I would click this button here, paste from Word. So very, very similar to D2L. Again, you can paste your ta table in here so that it will keep all its formatting insert and here's your table again you can do all the formatting within this table uh, to your need so this concludes the tutorial on how, how to insert table into the blog um, within the blog itself or from microsoft word if you have any question you can always email me at andrewlee at langera.bc.ca thank you for watching